Hello everyone. So let's welcome again into the interview series. So in this interview series, we will talk King about one of the well-known company that is an Indian international brand with the name of the Coforge. So this Coforge is basically Indian multinational uh, technology company that is based in the Noida. And this company is basically registered into the Bombay Stock Exchange as well as National uh, Stock Exchange of India. And this performance of their stock is also very good. So we definitely heard about the company is the NIIT that is started in 1981. And in 2020, NIIT is rebranded with the name as the Coforge. So now NIIT technology is known with the Coforge as a name, new name. And recently in April 2021, Coforge is acquired 60% stake of SLK Global Solution. Now it is very good market reputation here and their employee strength is very high and uh, right now they are hiring into the bulk also because they have the good roadmap to start the career and they have the good vision also. So we should be proud as a Indian to work as a this company as a multinational company as Indian brand. So let's start with the interview series of this one there I will try to cover the dotnet with angular profile. So I hope this information will definitely help you out to crack the interview into this one. So the agenda here is we will try to cover C sharp dotnet core angular JavaScript practical scenario and Azure. So the C sharp side they are start with the generic. So you need to explain the generics here. What type of namespace we are using into the C sharp like uh, system dot collection dot generic and what is the purpose of this one? And you need to list down how many type of generic like list, dictionary and all. So this will give the good impression. The other one is a dynamic. So the dynamic which give the runtime behavior and what is the practical use of this one? And here you can little bit explain the reflection things also because that is internally used by the dynamic. Other one in the GC and all generation. GC is the garbage collector, like how the garbage collector is work into the dotnet so you need to explain that one and all type of generation like three type of generation where generation zero generation one and generation two so how it is be working the next one is the dotnet core so in the dotnet core side <clears throat> what is the benefit of core so you need to explain the core like it's a platform independent and there is so much support is there and uh, you need to explain each and everything, whatever you know about the .NET Core. The other thing is startup.cs file. That is the most important question and most important file also into the .NET Core. So you need to explain the each and every point like what we are going to achieve with the help of the startup.cs file because that is the startup things. Everything we need to register here or you can say we need to create any, our all the middleware also here. The other one is how to create the custom attribute the same like how to create the custom attribute there you can uh, explain the authorized attribute or the validation attribute so anyone you can explain there so basically they are asking like have you done any of the custom type of at, uh, attribute or not the other one is the angular so in the angular one es6 feature so they ask me around any of the good feature four or five feature which are uh, introduced into the es6 you need to explain everything like uh, uh, triple dot you can say or the where let let is not the where is a let basically class things and all so that you need to explain other one is a transfer data from child to parent so the child to parent we know that we need to use the output as well as event emitter for the parent to child like input property we are using the other one is the module what is the benefit of module and what is uh, this one so it will basically carrying all the details of the components all the services and all uh, the startup of this one and how we are routing things everything it is maintaining here you need to explain the each and everything there like uh, provider declaration module everything you need to explain there other one is HTTP client. So in the HTTP client, you need to explain uh, the HTTP client, what type of uh, namespace uh, uh, you are using for this one at the Angular side, like how you are in here this one and what is the purpose of this one and how you are giving the dependency into the service and what type of how like 
how the get put post delete we are uh, calling with the http client you need to explain everything there our javascript practical scenario like they are basically trying to ask or uh, to check the things like how the he the people is thinking to resolve or crack the problem for this one uh, i open my w3 school because uh, they want everything into the practical manner so i open on to the runtime or you can say the in front of the people into the virtually and so first question here is the there you can see the p three time repeated two a is two time repeated and b is the four time repeated so we need to first or show this one and after that give the count for this one so the best approach here is like first we need to show this uh, string and split with the without space so it will give, create the array for you and after that through the loop you can crack this thing the other question here is uh, this is angular so here you can see the first letter of each word is capital and everything should be in the into the lower case and whatever the first character you are replacing it should be replaced with the underscore so here the catch here is the first letter d or the t is not with the underscore so you need to put the some condition there and based on that you can crack the things so there you are going to use the two lower case to upper case whatever based on your requirement and again to convert this one you need to just compare with the two lower or the two upper with the value and crack the things i hope you got the idea by this thing as your side like as your side uh, they ask like what type of activity we are performing so because we are working onto the azure side so uh, like everyone now working onto the azure side so you need to explain the each and everything whatever activity you are you uh, you doing like uh, when you are uh, uh, how the, your scrum is maintained by the azure so how to uh, add the task and all how to re create the query there when you are raising the pr pull request then how you are showing the things or how you are checking the things if any of the failure come or the successful things will come and how the ci cds work so you need to explain whatever that you are doing in the journal routine it's not anything extra is required if you are telling the the configuration part also that is also give the good impression so that's the overall experience which i gain from the cofors and i hope you like this session and this much of information so let's meet again in another video series. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening this one. Bye.